So I took advantage of a recent sale that World Tiger Imports had on their M91 Carcano carbines. Picked up two of them. Ended up also getting an additional 10% off, so they came out to a pretty good price each. Definitely a price you don't see a lot of Milsert rifles going for these days. So I'll go ahead and open them up and see what I got. So this first one here, stock looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any cracks or anything where you normally see them. It does look like they did a stock repair on this at some point. You can see there's a piece of wood here. It looks like they um, attached it. It's got a cartouche there. The 1947 date. The serial number there. Another FAT stamp. I don't see any pitting or any damage to this rifle. Pretty good. It looks like there's some mold or something on the wood. I've seen those on some of the other examples I've gotten out of this Italian cache. The other side of the stock looks pretty good too. Fairly clean too. I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of oil or dirt on it. So it really just needs to be taken apart and wiped down. Bayonet's nice and tight, it's not loose. And this one uses the push button style. Locks into place. So overall this one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. Pretty cool. It's got it's like a label on there. Giuliani. And some numbers there. It could be like an inspector label, basically. It's got some scratches here in the stock. These are kind of more like a bunch of dents. It looks like scratches, but it looks like they're more like just kind of dents. scratches or anything or cracks this one's got a 1928 date on it the tyranny arsenal it's pretty cool most of the carbines I have are from the Brescia factory so it's nice to have a different one this one looks like it has the little lever here this is how you put the bayonet out. This little lever. It's a little bit loose, but not to the point where it kind of falls out from the stock. This one has a really good cartouche here, dated 1929. And another, could be another uh, inspection label here as well. Which is pretty cool. When I clean up the stock, I'll be careful to leave these labels alone. I think they look pretty interesting. The butt plate looks good. 
Looks like there's a small little cartouche here. And I've always found these rifles pretty interesting just because they're cavalry carbines and they have these folding bayonets and there's a lot of history behind them. And especially these rifles that are coming out of the Italian cache that after the war were uh, basically rearsenaled and turned over to the Italian police. There's just certainly a lot of history with these and they're in really good condition for their age, mainly because they went to the Italian police versus the African cache, some of the other caches that you find where they're just pretty much left and abandoned and abused. This is the 1928 Tierney. Got it broken down. They did put some Cosmoline on the bolt inside on the firing pin and the spring. Bowling looks really good on this one. The finish is just great. And the wood looks like it's in really good shape too. You can see inside the wood it's Looks pretty good. So I have to be really careful when I clean the wood not to touch these labels. I really want to preserve the labels the way they are. So I just have to clean around them. So overall this one looks really good. It's got the wartime Carcano broken down. This is the one that has the stock repair back here. The stock's in pretty good shape. Don't see any cracks or any damage inside of it. The top handguard looks pretty good too. And you can see the bolt looks good as well as all of its components. Great amount of finish on both of these. And you can see the underside of the receiver and barrel are pretty dirty, but looks like there's a lot of good finish. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this one up as well. It's got all cleaned up. didn't take me very long. This one is actually a really quick clean. See the finish is really nice on it. I don't really see any significant wear spots. Nothing that would just be from storage. It's very likely this one was just put away for storage and never used after it was refurbished. See the stock's in really good condition. Got a really nice cartouche here. Dated 1929 from the Tyranny Arsenal. There's that label. I did preserve the label on the other side as well. Stock came out really nice with some linseed oil. And these metal parts are also really good as well. Just gonna oil them and reassemble it. This one came out really nice, and uh, the bore on this one's immaculate. See, it's like brand new almost, barely used. This is the wartime Carcano, cleaned up. Really nice finish, really nice bore. These two are certainly good examples of the Italian cash Carcanos. No damage to the stock either. So go ahead and get this reassembled and I'll show the two side by side. Got the Carcanos put back together and we'll take a closer look at them. We really like the label on the stock on this one. See the name, Giuliani. It's kind of interesting. Just the finish on this one is really nice. Put some chalk in that date right there. As well as the manufacturer mark, serial number. Really clear stamps. You can definitely see this is a pre-war model. Just a lot more care was taken into the markings and notice they kind of hex the, the barrels here. See the finish here in the barrel, really nice too. Got a name there. And that really nice cartouche there on the stock. The wood grain on this one's really nice. Moving on 
on to the next one. Stock's a little dinged up there, but otherwise we're in good shape. Really nice finish as well. This one's not dated, but it has that rounded barrel there. So it's probably a wartime production. There's no date on it either. Usually there's a Roman numeral here, which cannot be dated, but I don't see it there. That's the years that, um, you know, fascist Italy. You can use that to calculate the date of the rifle. Let's go ahead and turn over. There's another cartouche. This one's post-war. Like this is when it got refurbished. See the stock's in really good shape. Put some chalk there in the markings. You just see overall really nice on the barrel. Not as good as the other one, but pretty good. This one uses the push button method of locking the bayonet, whereas this one uses the lever. So overall, some really good examples of Carcanos from the Italian cache, from the Italian police. Definitely in good condition. They were referred before they were stored, and they were stored in likely much better conditions than what you would see in the ones coming out of Africa. So I'd highly recommend it if you can get one. They're, um, they're a pretty good price and they keep you know, dropping down on sales. So just keep an eye on their website. We'll take a look at the bores on these. You can see these bores after I cleaned it up are pretty much just mint, um, really good condition. So these would make excellent shooters. I'll probably not shoot um, this one on the bottom much just because it has the labels on it and I don't want to damage them. I think that's a really cool touch uh, for the rifle but certainly um, this one right here would make a really good shooter especially with the condition of its bore. So I have a few more videos coming out. If you'd like to get alerted to those feel free to subscribe and turn on alerts. If you have any questions about these particular carbines feel free to ask them below and as always thank you for watching.